Curry. We own a second home that we rarely visit, but we don't want to sell it now since I must travel to that city every other month. It's a very nice house that was designed for entertaining. Would it be better to rent it through an Airbnb or advertise for a roommate? Well, Lamont, I would first find out what the restrictions are in that town, in that community, in that township. If there's in that, um, you know, could, when I say community, I mean, it could have homeowners association restrictions that would not allow for Airbnb. So given let's say that there's not any restrictions to that. Oh my goodness gracious, you've got a little gold mine there. You've got an amazing gold mine. I would absolutely go for it. You've already got a place, it's furnished, it's ready. Um, and I would go through a lot of the listings that are in Airbnb now. You can see what they do to attract people. You can see the kind of pictures that they take. You can see the pricing that they do. and compare it to your area and see what people are getting. And uh, you could, you can do that yourself, man. And that can be a great thing. Only thing you ever have to worry about is cleaning. You have to find somebody, but that's findable and that's kind of easy. In fact, you could contact other Airbnb people and say, who do you use for cleaning? Um, and through real estate agents and others that can give you referrals on uh, cleaning folks that could be cleaning between the people, uh, but it's a good little business and it can bring in a lot of cash flow.